and five, six, seven, eight. Welcome back to Hot Girl Kitchen. Oh my god, wait, I was not ready at all. I was like having like a, okay. a, a moment. Hold on. What do I want with that? I don't just sit around eating cheese. cheese. Your, have you ever heard that, Daniela? What? I don't just sit around eating cheese. I do. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Have you ever heard someone Doesn't say Doesn't sound like such... a balanced diet to me. Oh my god. You, you eat Chick-fil-A every day. But here we are. The delusion is crazy over here. It's not a nice word, crazy. It might offend some of our viewers. Um, I mean, I'm crazier than yeah. All some of our us, viewers, some so. of us have nine mental illnesses that we're diagnosed with, and then they have the nerve to call people crazy. Takes one to know one, I guess. <laughs> Welcome back to Hot Girl Kitchen. I'm Melissa. And I'm Matt. And today we're going to be giving you the quickest, easiest appetizer. I know we say that every time we do a quick, easy appetizer, but this truly... Actually, anytime we make anything, we're always like, it's quick and easy, but it's quite delicious and gourmet. But this time but we really mean no, it. No, it truly is super simple, and anytime I've ever had it as an appetizer for people, it people are very impressed. Everyone tries With it. all the entertaining she does. Yes. So you're probably wondering, what is the simple, easy appetizer that you're about to what make could for it be? us? So we're making a caprese salad, but not a normal, Ciao. not a normal caprese salad where you have the big giant slices. This is a more bite baby, yeah, like bite a bite size, size friendly portion. Yeah. So oh my god, it sounded like such a bimbo. Bite size, <laughs> really small. Yeah. So I guess we're really, I, I'm i going to go over the ingredients, but I'm going to go over them as we're making it because we said this is quick and easy, so we don't want to waste all your God-loving time. Oh my God. So you are going to need some cherry tomatoes, which we are going to just have. Have, yes, girl. Did you notice That's how right. I said it extra yes. slow so you wouldn't she come tends, at my net? She tends to not use the proper English. <laughs> The, not use the proper <laughs> English. She tends to use an like, imaginary and a more a, a little bit of a more uneducated edition. <laughs> so normally she'd say, "Let's half these." Normally I would say, but she's learning. Normally I would say, "Go f yourself." So after you have all your tomatoes, you're gonna start doing the exact same to your mozzarella. And this is actually, I have them and then have them again. So kind of like fourths. So we get them. Quarters. Yeah, quarter them. And you want to use these little mozzarella balls. Sometimes I use them already soaking in oil, but today I'm going to show you guys, in case you don't have the ones already soaking in oil, I'm going to show you the oil blend that you're going to have everything soaking in. <gasps> Coco. Oh, she's so cute. Aww. Oh, my God, girl. I'm sorry. Y'all are so mean. Coco, what are we making today? So now we are going to... Oh. We're going to chop up our fresh basil. She loves the aroma. She I'm loves tomatoes. feeling. Do you want to get tomato? Everyone? Yeah, everyone. Oh my God, that makes one of us. I'm not a big tomato fan. Oh my God, she's like, what's next? So as you can see, we're adding... Well, we're really... Chopping not extremely finely because you kind of want bigger chunks of basil in your bites. So it's just a rough chop with rough my chop. garbage. Look at the way Coco's paying attention. She's going to make this later. Look at that. She's like, wow. What's the next step Coco would like to know? We're going to add our extra virgin olive oil and really soak mm. these babies. We love a good soak. Don't we? So you're going to actually use quite some... Ah, that's a lot of olive oil. Yeah, because we need to get everything soaking. And we're going to use our spoon and mix everything together. You want the tomatoes, the mozzarella, the basil, everything covered. Wow. Wow. So we're going to add some spices. We're going to use Matt's pasta sprinkle. World famous. From Penzi's. 
We're gonna use a large chunk of parsley. Heaping amount. Oh, Coco likes the parsley as well. Oh yeah, loves the parsley. Her taste is just off the charts. Some oregano, which is in the pasta sprinkle. We're just we're doing the most. Extra. And then I have a little bit of tarragon. Tarragon. She just handed that to me to pronounce it. Well, no. What I were you gonna say? I don't know. Actually, tarragon. Tarragon. We have some tarragon that we're adding. I was gonna say, honestly, I don't know. I kind of blacked out when I grabbed this. Is she literally like forgot how to read? She like handed to me to say, "Oh my, God, this is quite." Basil. I'm not gonna lie. This is a lot of. Wait till we mix it, you'll see. Okay. Red pepper flakes. We're really heavy on the red pepper flakes. And then last but not least. Well, I would hope we were heavy on the red pepper flakes. We've been heavy on everything else. Yeah, you're right. Some pink Himalayan salt. How could we forget? How could we forget? And you really want to just get that covered. A lot, kind of. Look, it looks like it's snowed. Love us if we're snow angels. Love a good snow moment. <laughs> so now you like our Chablis. You're gonna mix everything all together. And this is where you want a, a lot of the seasoning because it has to coat everything. So as you can see, we're really mixing it up, getting it in the oil, getting everything wet, because you know we love getting wet. things wet. Not wet. As my father would say, you're disgusting. You're the one that brought it up. You're right. Yeah. It sounds like it, I'm his flesh and blood, so he's going to have to get over it. Oh, Coco's oh, whining. She's no. sad because she wants. she's ready to eat it. She's excited. And yeah, we're just going to let this sit for a couple minutes, really let the flavor soak in, and then to be honest, you're ready to rock. So you can serve this right away. Your guests are going to be astounded. Look, Coco's, Coco's really very astounded. She's, She's so. very astounded. So now that we have everything soaked and ready, it's time for us to taste our wonderful appetizer. Here, what do I do? I'll just like you just dig grab in. some. It's making me nervous. Oh my god, I, I can't get a tomato. You can't? I was having problems picking it up. Oh, I bet you're gonna see you put it in. Mm. It's actually oh. pretty good. Yeah, I know, girl. I'm really not a fan of tomatoes at all. But I don't really taste the tomatoes, it's more like basil. Yeah. I more so taste the basil. Mm. Um, one thing I that I have to add, one dose of commentary, I don't think your fave could do this. Your fave can't even pr pronounce caprese. Honestly, this is even like a good snack. Like if you are kind of hungry, but like want to, don't want to go over Gorge the top. Or on something unhealthy. Or not, I think this is super healthy with all this olive oil. Well, extra virgin olive oil is good for the heart, so. Well, not like seven ounces of it. Well, we're not drinking it, just soaking on our things. Well, we better tell the audience not to drink it, because I don't want Honestly, you could probably sued. you could probably save the leftover olive oil and put it in a little container and use it for something else. You could probably cook. Even, like, use it for the same thing, like, next time. Because then it'll already have the flavor. Yeah, it'll already have all the ingredients, mm -hmm. so. Cheers to that. Real hot girl shit.